Bold TV. All righty. Good morning, beautiful people out there. Welcome to another wonderful episode of Bold TV. I don't need to hype. There's no hype. We are value, value driven, and we are here to dispense more value today by way of another interesting topic. By the way, in case you're joining us for the first time, Bold TV stands for Beautiful Outstanding Ladies with Disabilities TV, and it is powered by Bold Arts Initiative, a network of amazing women with disabilities who are doing great things in their different circles. So welcome. Our on, to our online audience, I hail you and we remain loyal. Thank you for your loyalty, your commitment to us over time. We appreciate it. To our partners and potential partners, you are welcome and we always appreciate your support. We would have been, I would also solicit that you continue to like, share and comment on our videos. You can check us out on YouTube at Bold TV or on Facebook, our Facebook page, Bold Hearts Initiative. And you will have access to all our past videos and also be, as you like the page, we'll be aware of future engagement. All right, you're welcome. Today, we are going to be talking about a very key topic. This is the digital age. We can't deny it. This is the digital age. Most of what we do nowadays is online. Everything has been moved to the cyberspace. And so it has become a very key component of our daily lives. And there is a need, just like we are trained to comport ourselves and behave a certain way in the offline space, there's also a need to learn how to comport and behave ourselves in the online space. Because whether we like it or not, they may not see you, but they feel your impact. So one has to be careful. So today we are going to be talking about netiquette. I know it sounds like, what does it sound like? It sounds like something, I don't know. But, you know, when I first saw the, heard the word, I was like, netiquette. But it just means etiquette on the net. So netiquette, online etiquette, how you conduct yourself online. So today we are going to talk about how social interactions can and should happen in the online space. So with me today, I have an amazing lineup of ladies who will be joining me to do justice to this topic. And I'm sure if you've watched our previous episode, you know they are, they are very capable. Tell us your name, your type of disability, where you live and work, and you know what you do. Hi everyone. I'm so happy to be here today, and I'm so happy that you also you are here viewing us. My name is Comfort Equo. I work with Sori Growth Initiative for Women and Youth with Disabilities. I stay in Abuja. And I'm also a content creator. So you can see that this topic have a lot to do with what I do. Good evening to you all. Thanks for having me here. My name is um, Oge Grace Onoha. And um, I'm an above knee amputee. Currently, I'm staying in Makodi, Benue State. And I am a business person. I'm an affiliate marketer as well as a network marketer. So that's who I am. Thanks for having me. Hi, everyone. Good morning. My name is Oluwatomi Sen Olatayo. I'm a visually impaired person. I am the executive director of Popular Abilities Foundation for Women and Girls with Disabilities. I'm a journalist and uh, also a bold, part, a bold TV host as well. I'm based in Abel Hotel Constance. Feels good to be here. All right. Welcome, 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 welcome. And um, yes. The boss lady herself is here. Frankie, welcome. Please introduce yourself. I wish this boss lady had money attached to it. Then I will agree. Because <laughs> 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 now it's all red. It's all red. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another exciting episode of Bold TV, Beautiful Outstanding Ladies Television. My name is Freki Andrew Essien. I'm a member of Bold Hearts Initiative. I'm the executive director of Faker Foundation. I identify as a woman with disability because I use a wheelchair from spinal cord injury. I'm a public health practitioner, amongst other things, consultant, name it. So thank you and welcome to another exciting episode. So just like you, I'm hearing netiquette for the, okay, not for the first time, but yeah, we will learn together. 
All right, you're welcome, welcome, well, just accept the title, the money will follow, don't worry, <laughs> I know what you're doing. <laughs> All right, so, and I am your delectable and very charming host. My name is Akion Etum. I am a medical lab scientist. I used to chew people, okay? So I'm a medical lab scientist. I live and work in Uyo, Apaibom State, and I'm a member of Bold Hearts Initiative. I'm an Amazon on wheels. I use a wheelchair from spinal cord injuries. You are most welcome. Welcome, welcome, everyone. All right. So today, net tickets. When we go on the online space, we see a lot of things. You hear a lot of things. It's like people's wildness. People just go online and begin to wild. People's wild streak comes out online and, you know, things you don't just expect. You know, people use the, the anonymity of, you know, the cyberspace to just sometimes do things that are unacceptable. So today, I'll just allow, I need someone to just, you know, I know I've mentioned what, given an, a hint as to what netiquette is, but I want someone else to, you know, give us another, if they have another definition that can do justice to it. Okay. So to me, my understanding of netiquette is, um, this is an online etiquette. This is the way we should be able to respectfully communicate with people, respectfully speak with people, the way we, we should comport ourselves on the internet. Because um, just the way you, you would want to do physically when you meet somebody, just the way you would want to speak to that person respectfully, this is how you should do online, in the internet. All right, thank you. I like the, the word respect. I like that word respect because how you interact with others, there must be some element of respect for that other person that you are interacting with. Not because they deserve it, but it's a reflection of who you are. Tommy, do you want to add to that? Thank you very much. Um, I, there's, there's a popular thing I used to say that um, the internet never forgives or forgets. I mean, whatever you are putting out there on social media, on the internet, on any web page and all of that, has to be something that, you know, you can defend, that, you know, you can easily align with, that you can publicly own it, because the internet never forgives nor forgets. So whatever you are doing, you have to just possess what we know as netiquette, which is the way you put out things, the way you are represented, the way you show up and show out on social media. Thank you. All right, thank you. The way you show up. You know, people tend to think that hmm, it doesn't matter. Maybe it's just to type something there. It doesn't matter. Let's just go and type and put it there. Everything you comment. The way you show up. How do you show up? Freki, let me come to you. Why is it so important? Why is netiquette so important? Especially for us, women with disabilities. We know there's a lot of misconception and stereotypes out there. Why is it so important? Thank you for the question. Um, so, netiquette. May I call it um, good manners online? <laughs> now you did do the good manners. So, good manners online. And I think it's important for <laughs> women with disabilities because it helps you to, you know, the internet expands your range of communication and you kind of don't want to have a bad rap on the internet, depending on what you are doing on the internet. So netiquette is important for women with disabilities because it helps you to do proper representation of yourself or your product or your business or your service. And just because it is a particular demography that we represent where people have misconceptions, for us, it is representing not just yourself, for well, many women with disabilities, because you come with like a lot more yeah. to the when you are on the net on in the wider space. So that's what I would say. For women with disabilities, it's a representation of who you are as an individual or your business, like depending on what you're doing on the net. And it's important for us because you're not just representing women, you're also not representing disability, but you're women representing women with disabilities generally. So um yeah, so that's why it's important for us to pay some attention to um et online etiquette thank you you know what you said uh, uh, what you said about not just representing yourself but representing a demography representing a certain group of people because when we go online we think it's all about me let me say what's on my mind and you forget that number one you represent you 
Is that how you want to be seen? Number two, there are people who are like you, who you may, by reason of your actions or, you know, behavior, who, you know, have, um, you know, that's how stereotypes are created. You go, the people, when they go online, people say, oh, is it not these people that used to use wheelchair? Is it not these people that are and so on? So they will say all manner of things. Why? Because one person misrepresented a whole group. So, so Missy, let me just um, allow you to add. But what do you think? Why is it so important? Okay, thank you very much. Netiquette is important uh, because, like I said, I mean, you do not want to put out something that in the next 5, 10, 15 years, you're not. You don't want to do something to destroy your own integrity, the image of families and generations yet unborn. And so we have to be net disciplined. Yes, net disciplined as it were. And so that's one major reason why it's important. And then whatever you put on social media is a representation of yourself. It's your image. It's what people see first before they actually know you. And so that's another reason why you need to be careful. And it also helps to draw the right kind of people to you. So if you represent yourself well, you see that your network on the internet would be well. Let me stop there for now, please. Okay, so you attract who you are. So when you go online and you're among those that go to people's timelines to comment and shout and rain abuses, you will attract people from a group. You will attract people just like you. That's what we should pay attention to. Come for just one thing. Okay, I said one reason why we should display etiquette, social, um, good social etiquette online. Okay, so um, one reason you should do this is because you don't know who you are. You don't know who your message is, is cutting across to. And, you know, when you, when you write something, we have to be very careful the way we caption what we are writing because it may mean differently to another person. And for me, as a lady with disability, there's what you can put out there that you, you, to you, you are just joking. But to me, it means a lot. Let me give one example. I saw um, somebody wrote something that said, um, this man's suit is like a porridge and prepared by a blind woman. And the thing, everybody on the comment section, everybody was just laughing, everybody was catching fun. But it was so offensive to me because I felt, ah, what do you mean? This thing you just wrote now, you're giving a lot, a, a, a different impression. Some people would now think differently about blind people. And so to me, you, you have to be very careful because your message, the message you're trying to pass across, you don't know if it can make or destroy anyone that is reading that, that, um, that post or that picture that you're putting out there. Thank you. I like the example you just gave. You know, people can be very crass. I will say that, pardon my French, people can be crass. You know, you make statements and you don't stop to think. So making that kind of statement is irrelevant. You could have put, get, gotten your point across without being offensive. But people feel that the only way you can craft jokes is by, you know, doing so at someone else's expense, which is not right. So now, because of that, we're going to move into our next question, which is, what are some wrong etiquettes online, some negative etiquettes that people display online? One is not everything you must put out there. Yes, I agree that you want to go proud, you want to be popular, you want to catch fun, you want to make crews and do all of those things, but not everything. We should learn to censor our posts ourselves. Facebook doesn't have to take down posts for you. Twitter doesn't have to ban you before you Fashion yourself as an individual with uh, whether you're with disability or you are without disability. Just have to fashion yourself, pencil yourself on what you put out there. Number two, um, I would say that uh, not everybody deserves your attention on social media. Some people are pigs. Uh, forgive my my manner of speaking. Now, they, they play, they live in the mud. That's what they do, that's who they are. And so if you, who does not like to live in the mud, who is wearing white, decides to, you know, play rough with them, you will have it. And so not everybody on social media or on the internet deserves your attention as an individual. Select your network, select your circle, select your battles and do it carefully. Thank you. All right, thank you so much, Reki. Let's hear what are some wonderful things you come across online. Those funny, funny, <laughs> <laughs> negative. 
<laughs> so for me, I'll, I might say more than two, but I'll rush them. The first one is you don't need to jump on every tr- trend. It sounds like what Tommy Sin said, but we're living in um, the world of social media where trends come up every day. You don't need to jump on every trend. People jump on trends because they are maybe the hashtags are trending. So you want to jump on it, but you need to look at your value system and decide if you want to or have to jump on that trend. Yes, we know that a lot of people are on social media as content creators as it were because they want to influence their space or whatever. So the one I would say is you do not need to jump on every trend. Number two, every social media platform has community guidelines. Every social media has community guidelines. I know that reading sometimes is stressful, but you may do yourself a lot of justice if you take one or two seconds or moments to just see what the community guidelines as regards posts, as regards tag, as regards different things in that social media space may be so that you do not default and then tomorrow that social media platform blocks you. Number three, you don't want to be a troll. A troll is somebody who goes and meets mental and emotional um, bullying, cyber bullying to other people. Don't be known as a troll. Whenever they see your name, everybody, everybody is expecting a troll comment. Social media is a wide platform, but you have to be careful with solicitations. <laughs> I'm saying this because of the disability community. You have to be very careful with solicitations. I've seen that happen a lot, and then people are abused, and then it's a whole different drama. Number five, women with disabilities. I know that love is possible online. Should I go there? <laughs> or should I leave it alone? Please, 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 please. Go. <laughs> you have to use common sense. Come on, girl. Not everybody that says I love you means it. They say I love you. Tell them I love you back. And use the block button if you ever need to use it. It is at your disposal. All right. Thank you so, so much. Okay. Name calling is one of these. Hate speech. Mm-hmm. Another mm-hmm. one. Uh-huh. And sometimes people just want to be part of uh, trending gists, whether it is positive or negative, whether it's even their thing. You know, everybody has what's important to them our lifestyle, our personalities. But because you want to also trend to feel among, you just begin to talk about things, whether it's um, good or bad. Uh, and especially when it's negative, uh, it's not really good. And as a person of uh, a person with disability, you also have to check in on things before putting out there. It's very important. Uh, so uh, because the truth is, uh, the way people will view, uh, according to them, complete human beings, when they put out things. <laughs> it's not the same way they'll view it when they see a person with disability putting out those same things, you understand? Some people will say, eh, even if somebody uh, that is complete will say this, they don't expect to get it from a person with disability, you know, that kind of a thing. So there is always that segregation. So we need to be careful what we put out and what kind of contents that um, not all trending things, all trending things we want to feel among. So please, let's be very conscious of what we put out there. Thank you. All right. Thank you so, so much. All right, Comfort, can you share just one thing? So um, we all know that most people on social media, let me use Facebook for an instance, most people have, they have their, um, they have their guidelines, which is also like um, a netiquette for people who are in the group to be, to be safe. But um, sometimes a lot of persons with disabilities, you know, they've made a lot of groups that have people with disability to put that uh, no post of any charity like, and all that. And still yet we see people who want to, who are always coming with charity, charity, charity. What I just want to say is that um, we should try to respect rules, to respect community guidelines because these are just like the, 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 the etiquette, like you know when we go for meetings they'll say okay these are the ground rules, you don't do this, you don't do that. So we also have that online, we also have that on the internet. Ground rules that you should abide to ensure safety of everybody. You don't put, you know, as persons with disability, what you, just the way, just the way Frankie has said, what you say or what you do as a woman with disability is painting an image for other we, um, women with disabilities. So it will make a lot of people to be see, seen us as people who always need charity. So abiding to rules is also a way we can promote etiquette and we also promote our own self dignity. Yes, your response has been well received. Uh, with respect to the guidelines and i think it even extends to whatsapp groups you know you join a whatsapp group that was created for a purpose and then you now go there and you now want to insist on your own purpose me i tell them go and form your own group don't come here and be a nuisance to people that form group 
group description and then you'll now be i'm sure you i mean you guys have formed many groups so you've seen that um yeah. general behavior i see that happen a lot then the last one what that film tries to set herself in is that i've seen is that somebody would just throw away all her home training and maybe they are quarreling <laughs> on the chat you just you and then you now go to the inbox and be begging the person stop now so the person don't let me show this let me show don't i'll oh, just be like oh god in a group in a group chat sometimes it can be very embarrassing so lack of emotional control don't be abusing yeah, yeah 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 so those are some things thank you so much i'm sure you need to you know share a few more points but there are some i need to bring out you see when the people go on you see this facebook is the reason why i've decided to go on higher tools because of it some people go to you go online and then you just go you see somebody post something that they sat down and use their brain to come up with and you just go snatch the post go somewhere else and post it and make it look like your own no acknowledgement whatsoever you don't even tag the person so that the person knows that oh i'm taking i'm putting this out there so that people other people can see no acknowledgement no nothing you just put it there another one is that like tommy sin said earlier internet does not forgive or forget you decide today i bought new underwear and it's looking very fine up. let me show the rest of the world because i don't understand in this day and age, that's when we think that some things should be out there for people to see and you go and take one picture like that where everything is on display and you put it out there and then tomorrow you decide to run for office and facebook will go and bring out the archives and show you and say this is your this this person that wants to be governor or chairman this is what they look like it's not your village people you are the weapon fashioned against yourself be very careful it's not everything you must do because everybody's between it mm. another one is that you see those adding people to groups especially on whatsapp you did not come to me to ask me just because you have access to my number or something you just carry me and put inside somewhere that I did not sign up for. It's very, very, very annoying. I will report you and block you and everything I need to do. If you need me to be in a group, come to me first. Tell me this is what this group is about. This is why I keep you there. Do you want to join? It's my choice. So you just open a group and you decide everybody you know, you just pack and put. And you think they should go along with it. Why? Because it's you. Or because you're a person with disability. Don't try me. Do not try me. All right, so now let's move on. We've talked about, you know, and then I don't know if you ladies talked about it, but you know, sharing information that someone has shared with you without permission. Somebody comes to you and probably in the course of conversation shares something personal or whatever, and you feel that the content you want to put out there without asking the person, can I do that? You feel that the content you want to create, somebody's personal information, Someone, something that was given to you in trust. No, 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 it's not nice. So ladies, thank you so much for your robust contributions. Now, finally, I just want us to say one thing. One thing that we can do when we are online. We've talked about the negative aspects. Now, how can we conduct ourselves better online? Okay, thank you very much. So the one thing I would remind is that in this day and age where the focus is on content, remember that there is also the aspect of image and branding. Social media is not just for content creation, but it's also you creating your image. If you want or need to have different social media platforms, please feel free. For whatever you put out there, know that you are creating a brand and that you're presenting an image. So if it is a personal brand you want to represent on that social media platform, then you have to create content so that it represents the image that you're trying to brand in the minds of people. Again, you can have a thousand and one social media um, handles depending on what you want to do with it if you um, avoid mis mixed signals as much as you can and then try to remember that it's not just about content it's about branding it's about your image creation what you're putting out there the second thing i would say about social media is that you don't have to be on every platform <laughs> you need to pick what would work for you because people get social media burnout because they are everywhere and they are just struggling with everything and they are trying to dance on tiktok they're trying to do this one mm, not necessarily find what works for you and enjoy yourself the third one i would say is this if you ever and i say this to women with disabilities because whether we like it or not, the negative aspects of social media and social being online is real. 
So there will always be crips. There will always be people who are devotees. There will always be people who are there for a negative plan. They are just free. They are predators looking for prey, looking for vulnerabilities to prey on. So whatever you do, take every conversation with a pinch of salt, vet every conversation. And if you are uncomfortable, use the block and report button. I say that thing with a lot of use the block and report button. And then finally, I know that when social media, the platforms came out, we're all carried away. So we accepted everybody as our friends. So you can begin to unfriend me. <laughs> it's okay to unfriend and mm. nothing will happen. It's all right to unfriend mm. and unfriend. And, and mm. I think about like, oh, this is it, so I'm stuck. No, 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 no. There's a lot you can do. You can unfriend, you can unfollow, you can leave groups, you can do anything you want. You can leave chats, you can do anything you want. It is your space. Be mindful of what people post on your wall and tag you with. Just control. That's what I'm saying. Get control of that space. So that you don't feel like you're spiraling. Last but not the least. Hey, no matter what you put out there, there will be people that have different opinions about you. Please take every opinion with a pinch of salt. Remembering that everybody has, is entitled to their opinion. And their opinion is usually based on the level of knowledge they have. Don't go there and now become depressed because of what you saw on social. That would just be somehow. So... Does enjoy the space, but if it doesn't work for you, you have the audacity to finally delete your account. All those boxes are there and come back anytime you are strong enough. All right, thank you. So, um, one thing you can do to, to make sure the internet is safe and courteous for you is um, just as Ricky has said, if you're not comfortable about anything, you can report it, it could be a comment, you can report the comments, you can report the full post. And we also, you know, we can also try to make sure that whatever, you know, sometimes, especially for people who are visually impaired, this is a common, this is a common challenge for us. We have spending issues. Yes, because we're always listening. We're always listening in words. So the spelling sometimes may be a bit challenging because, you know, some words are pronounced same way. So the, the another thing we could do is when we want to put a post out there, after typing, you could use um, maybe other editing tools to try and check your grammar to see if, because you can put something there, you think this is what I'm putting, but the meaning is different from what you are putting. So you could also use maybe some editing tools to check your grammar to see if they are they are accurate. And um, some other thing again we can also do is to also make sure that we keep our, some arguments healthy because you can have healthy arguments some, some somebody can make them uh, make jest of you online and you want to come and defend yourself so another way you are trying to defend yourself you have to be careful about it because instead of you defending yourself you cannot even be the the offender so we can we can keep our arguments um healthy keep our conversations healthy and then when somebody puts um, an error message about you after reporting that person, you can also come out to clear the air to say, oh no, this is not true. Instead of um, going off or being depressed or hitting yourself about something you can you didn't do, you can also come out and uh, debunk, debunk the error message. What I have to say is um, be forgiving. You know, uh, there, are, there are tendencies that we are going to be misunderstood. We all come from our own school of thoughts. Uh, be forgiving and... Um, Make you educate people about your school of thought so that they get to understand from where you're coming from. And lastly, please make friends daily. Facebook gives you an opportunity to make friends. Make friends with people that are compatible. You understand? People that share, that's like-minded individuals so that you don't have a lot of people misunderstanding you. You have more people agreeing to what you're saying because you have like-minded individuals as friends. All right. Thank you so, so much. Learn how Sorry, to work out. Sorry, there's one I forgot to mention. That happens too much on WhatsApp, please. Let me just say it. Fact checking. All the forwarders association of Africa or the world. Global forwarders. Ah, the forward. <laughs> forward <many times. laughs> yeah. yeah, so please forward less. Eh? If it's not something that you think will be useful to somebody else, please forward less. Opinions are one thing. But if you see something that you know can be, you know, bring value. By all means, please forward. Someone else could benefit from it, even if you don't. So, like I said before, learn how to work a pass. That is option Q. You know, when you have A, B, C, D, don't even leave A, B, C, D, go to Q. 
waka pass you must not respond you must not comment you must not you must not do anything you read something it doesn't agree with you shake your head shrug your shoulders and keep going that you see that online road the online thoroughfare does be going you don't need to stop you don't need to branch anywhere the abasira's place is not the place to go and share your opinion move on so and i will give one golden rule before we go don't do online what you would never or never be proud of doing in real life just because you're hidden behind a, the keyboard of a phone or a computer does not mean that what you're doing does not have impact don't do online what you would never do offline don't say to someone what you will not say to them in front of them that is the golden rule. Do unto others, like the Bible says, unto others what you would want them to do to you. If you want someone to be kind and cautious to you, do the same. You want someone to appreciate what you do, do the same. And like Frankie said, please. Yes, yeah, so we all want to be loved too. But love yourself, right? because when you love yourself, you will recognize when somebody is doing kurukere. Don't just everybody that comes and says, ah, babe, how far? You open the door, open everywhere, and they will have access. Protect yourself, like, I don't even know. Be very, let's be very careful online. It's a dangerous place. It can be a highway to success and fame. It can also be a highway to the grave. Many have passed on because of what happens there. So let's not be part of the statistic. Let's be very careful. So ladies, I just want to say thank you so, so much. This has been a very robust and interesting conversation, and I'm sure someone out there has learned something new. Thank and will, you. You know, take some of these tips and know how to respond and interact online. So, I want to say thank you to our online audience. Thank you so much for staying with us. Thank you for listening in. Thank you for supporting us. And I hope that you will take this message and you know share it far and wide. As you share the videos on your social media platforms, many of other people will learn from it. It's not just for women with disabilities. It's a message that cuts across every demographic. So help us by sharing this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our Facebook page. And if you have any comments or questions, you can you know drop them on Facebook or send us an email. You'll see our email address scrolling on the screen. So thank you so much for being with us until we come your way again next week, Saturday, same time, 10.30 a.m. We'll say, we'll take our goodbyes and we look forward to seeing you. So ladies, let's say goodbye to our audience. Bye. bye. Audience. Stay safe online. Bye. 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 Bye, audience. <laughs> bye, online people. Bye. bye. Stay safe. Bye. Stay safe. Bye. <laughs>